poppin' my peeps, how's it going? Super stoked about today's episode, cause uh, it's all about those rifts and lightsabers, baby. I got this little toy lightsaber at the store earlier, so I think this is gonna be the best thing to use because when it goes out like that, I can actually mask this plastic part, so it's gonna be a lot easier to do in post. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this entire thing, cut it together in Premiere, take all the lightsaber stuff, bring that over to After Effects, mask out the plastic part, and create some sort of saber thing. This is going to be cut into two different parts. There's going to be the first part where I find the lightsaber and turn it on. Then there will be the part of me playing with the actual lightsaber. And that section is going to be synced to music. I want it to, to kind of have like an Edgar Wright style feel where everything is synced to the music. My plan for how I'm going to shoot that is pick different areas of the house and pick a different thing that I'm going to do. And then do that to the entire section of the song that I'm going to use. Last week when I did that whole music video with the C200 and Raw Light. If you guys haven't seen that by the way, you should definitely go check it out. Link down in the description. A lot of you guys asked me how long it took me to shoot and edit that, so I figured today what I can do is I will I will time that all out. I think that will be a pretty cool thing to kind of reflect on at the end of this video. All right, so uh, yeah, probably should get this going. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> that was a little bit of a workout. I'm sweating right now. All right, so that took me. That took me 36 minutes and 53 seconds to get all the shots that I needed. All I basically did was just run through the song a bunch of times, so I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna have enough stuff. I might have to go back and reshoot some stuff just because I only did it in two spots and I just did a bunch of different things. So maybe I can make it work, who knows? I just don't want the edit to be too boring. So we shall see in just a bit. I've got my sequence all cut together in Premiere. Now what I have to do from here is bring this into After Effects to animate the lightsaber. As you can see here, I've actually duplicated my sequence. The reason that I did that is because I want the lightsaber layer and the actual video layer to be separate. And there's a few reasons on why I did that, but the main reason is because of color grid. I shot this in S-Log and I haven't yet color graded my footage. I want to animate the lightsaber first and then do the color grade after, so it's going to be easier if I have them separate. That way I can color grade in Premiere. There actually is one more reason though, and that's because I shot this in 4K and I edit in a 1080p sequence. The reason that I do that is because I like to push and pull into my footage and it gives me kind of an extra angle just in case I need it. And I know that I'm gonna want to do some zooms throughout this sequence and I haven't yet done that because I wanted to animate the lightsaber first. So what I'll do in After Effects is actually change the composition size to match the original video file so that when I bring it back into Premiere, I can animate both of them and, and everything will be okay. Basically what I'm gonna have to do for every single one of these video files is create an After Effects composition. So I'll start with this one first, replace with After Effects composition. That will open up After Effects. You're gonna have to save your project file somewhere and then from there you can begin working. So in order to check the correct resolution for what you need to change your composition to, just create a new composition from your original video file. All you gotta do is click and drag your video file down to the new composition button. And then from here you can go to composition, composition settings, and then it will show your width and height. But if you see right here, it's actually already got the preset in there. So we can just change the actual composition that we're going to edit in to this file and then change the scale back to 100. All right, so if we go to composition, composition settings, we can go to this preset and it's this one right here. Boom, good to go. Now because I was editing in a 1080p sequence, I did already scale it down so that I could cut it all together. Now we're just gonna have to scale that back up to 100. Boom, good to go. I think that the best way for me to do this is to create a new layer, create a solid. We'll just make a white solid. We'll name this saber. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this white layer to mask out the plastic and this white solid will actually be our saber. So I'm thinking if I do this right, it's not gonna be very difficult to do, but it's gonna be very tedious because I'm gonna have to go frame by frame and mask that plastic out and it's just gonna be a pain in the butt. But I definitely think it'll be worth it. So uh, yeah, let's give it a go. whole thing all masked out. This is where it comes on and boom, 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 boom. But because that was so tedious, I think I just want to give myself a break and actually try and make this white block look like an actual lightsaber. I think maybe the best way to go about this would be to just feather it a bunch, maybe? Um, oh, that might work, but I might have to duplicate these. So maybe, and maybe if I turn the feather down to like... Ten here. 
pens a little too. Maybe 25. That looks pretty dope. Let me just no. Let me duplicate it again. I mean, that kind of looks like a lightsaber, if you ask me. I do have to color this somehow, so maybe if I just pre-compose all these layers down. Now what I have to do is maybe tint. Let's try some tint. See what that. See if this can will work out. White to red. No, that's not what I want. Wait, I know what I'll do. Maybe like glow. This is kind of looking like potentially something. That looks super cheesy. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is just going to be a lot of fine tuning and tweaking. I'm not done. I still have a lot to complete, but I actually changed some things up with the lightsaber. One of the first things that I did was I added motion blur. So I went into my pre comp, added motion blur to the composition by clicking this button right here and then selected motion blur on every single one of these layers. And I wasn't really digging how the lightsaber looked with that glow. So I actually did a little bit of research. I ended up watching a YouTube video by Will Carmack, 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 Carmack. Hello, my name is Will Carmack. Will Carmack. That's that's uh, that's what video I watched. I ended up watching his video, and I actually did basically the same thing with the whole white solid. He also did that, but he did something different with the glow. He actually added a black layer to his pre-comp, and then from there in After Effects, he changed the blending mode to screen. But for me, I just did that in Premiere, so I took my lightsaber layer right here, came over to my blending mode, change it to screen, and then what he did was he actually just adjusted the curves, and for some reason when you do that, when you change the blending mode and you add the black layer and all that stuff, for some reason you can. I was trying to do that earlier, but it wasn't working, so I just did that in Premiere instead. So I'm completely color grading everything in Premiere, which just makes things super easy for me. done everything has been edited like sound design all that stuff all the things color grade it's all done it's, it's, it's good for whatever reason the timer on my phone stopped keeping track it stopped recording the time however I do know what time I started um, I started roughly four hours ago I started editing it four hours ago so let's say for sake of conversation uh, this whole thing took me about four and a half to five hours to shoot and edit and that's just for this little sequence. That's not including this whole video. That's just this, how long is it? 30 second sequence. I'm super stoked on it, but I'm also very tired because that was, uh, that was very tedious. Very, very tedious. Cause I had to, tr you know, it just every single movement I had to mask out and it's, oof, I'm tired. All right, here it is. Alright, yeah, I'm done with this video. <laughs> I loved it. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this, but that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, smash that keyboard, subscribe if you aren't already, ring that bell, and stay hungry. Peace! So I'm not gonna lie, I was contemplating doing like a whole thing, you know, after with the lightsaber, like for this end screen, but I, nah, not happening.